Hi, my name is Jason Chapman. I'm with ProductionVoices.com. Today we're going to show you how to launch Production Grand and get it started. I am going to use the Gold Edition. I have Contact already running within Logic and I am going to take the presets. I've selected my folder within Files and then I could just select the file and drag it right into the window. That's it. Easy to launch. It's going to launch fairly fast here. And then to get sound, all of the faders are down, all the faders are off, all the different microphone perspectives. So you want to turn on the ones that you want. I'm going to turn them all on just so that we have them. And let's go to our settings page, which is down below. And we're going to select the settings and then turn on the settings that you would like to use. For the most part, you probably want just pedal noise and key release. If nothing else, just the key release as well. So the key release is the sound of when you let up on the key, the sound of the release samples. So you want to have those release samples heard so that you have an authentic piano sound. So fairly simple, no problem with that. Now I would like to show you one other method of launching Production Grand, and that is to actually drag the file in. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to select the Vintage Edition, and there it is. I am just going to drag it in, and it gives me a plus right, with, right inside the contact. And then there we go, we're inside, and if I click back over, it's launched. Now, it has to have the microphone perspectives turned on as well. They're a little bit different. There are switches, and I'm going to turn on the switches. I'm going to go down, take a look at the settings, do the same thing, turn on the pedal noise, and turn on the key release. Now, depending on your computer and the amount of RAM and uh, the speed of your computer, the load time will be a little bit different. Mine's taking a little bit of time here. Bring it in. And because I'm running the production grand currently off of a 7200 RPM drive, which will allow me about three microphone perspectives with a gold perspective, and depends on how busy my uh, playing is. So I'm going to command click on the hammer fader, the pencil mics here. And this, as soon as this yellow area goes out, it will say that this is fully loaded. And then I would be able to play that. We have to wait. And then I can also include the inside microphones as well. There we go. The top microphone perspectives over here have played. The bottom ones have not fully loaded yet. Now, if you notice down here, this is the second thing that you really have to do here is make sure that the MIDI channels match. Right now, the MIDI channel is set on MIDI channel one, and down below it's set on MIDI channel two, so they won't play back at the same time unless you're sending on both of those MIDI channels at the same time. It's best to keep them on the same MIDI channel, whatever the default is for your system. Now, I'm gonna bring down the inside microphones just to give you an idea that uh, since they haven't loaded yet, just to play the top one here. So just give me a second. Oh, and that click is because the computer's still trying to load things up, not because it's from the piano samples. So I'm gonna press the pedal down and then we'll try this again. So uh, you got no problems with the hammer microphones. Let's add in some room to that. While it's still loading, sometimes your computer gets a little bit bogged down. I'm gonna add in some room and some inside at the same time. And you can see that the computer is still trying to load all that stuff up. So the clips are not from the samples, it's just from the computer trying to load everything up in over two gigs here. And of course I'm stretching my arms and trying to give you this uh, demo at the same time. So it's not exactly the world's best piano playing at the moment. It takes a little bit of time to load. You can see that we're still loading up. This uh, will probably go about 2.5 gigabytes to load the all the microphone perspectives from the Gold Edition on here. I'm going to just bring you quickly through the settings while we have that and explain some of them. This is the, of course, the volumes for each of the microphone perspectives. You can have vintage and modern both on at the same time. These are all the volume or the on and off switches. The settings pages for each are identical except for the skin. They should be the exact same settings and so on. So it would be best to, you can adjust the pedal noise volume differently and the key release volume differently, but it's best to keep these turned on, the same ones that you turned on. Uh, recording noise is the actual recording noise from the sampling session. Some people like it for authenticity. Other people say, no, I don't like the noise, so I'll keep it off. 
Over here we have the pre-attack. It's the sound of the hammers bef when you press a key before it actually strikes the string. So there's a little clunk noise that happens that makes it authentic. The problem is, is that when you press something slow, it takes a little bit more time so then when you press a key quickly with a higher velocity. So we've had to compensate for that by adding a 180 millisecond delay between uh, when this is turned on and it makes playing it uh, live impossible. Here's the authentic pedaling. Authentic pedaling just uh, allows you to when you press down, when you press a key down, middle C, without the pedal, and then press the pedal down, it changes the sound sample into uh, the pedal down sample so that you get a little bit of blend as if what would happen on a natural piano and vice versa when you go from uh, pressing pedal down, pressing middle C, letting up on the piano, pedal, but still holding that key, you'd only hear middle C, and that's what happens with authentic pedaling. So, and lastly, you have the microphone setups. It just shows you where on the piano each of these were put and the types of microphones that were put on there. So that's how you get started with loading in a couple different ways. I'm gonna give you just an inside microphone from here and pull out a couple of these just so that you can hear the vintage with the hammer. I'll pull down the hammer a little bit uh, with the C major chord. at all.